What's up, bros? I kind of look like a horse when I get this close to the camera. The Blast video was my top six books. And one of my favorites is The 48 Laws of Power. I highly recommend that you guys pick this up. One of my favorite laws that stands out in a lot of areas of my life is law number four. Always say less than necessary. An easy way to remember this is by ditching the always and then say less than necessary for rules. Hence, law four. Um, you guys got to understand something. People don't want to hear you always talk about yourself. That's difficult though because we're all we really care about. People will turn their ears. They'll close their minds off to you. You'll ruin the seduction process. This applies to friends, family, business, women. Always say less than necessary. When you go into an interview, a lot of times we're always trying to impress the management. Trying to boast about what we've done. Really, if you went into an interview and you understood that say less than necessary is important, you could ask the guy questions about his own life. And then it's almost like you're interviewing him. He'll talk about himself. Human nature. People think they're great conversationalists. And that like everyone else is just boring. Usually that's not the case. Usually we talk about ourselves. And we don't really ask people about them. I'm telling you, if you shut that down. And you start asking open-ended questions. You start really asking people about themselves. They'll talk. And you listen. And they'll reveal to you many things the bible says that the tongue is like a serpent all right it's like a spewing poison you got to be careful with it i think that applies to this rule this law with seduction you can seduce a woman very simply by looking into her eyes and you notice her eye color you don't have to stare into the fucking depths of her soul you look into her eyes and she's talking, you ask her a question, and she's interested, she'll continue to talk, and maybe you look away, pondering, in deep thought, and then you return back to her eyes, remembering the eye color, and you see so many guys throw this out the window, there's no seduction, they just boast, and boast, and boast about themselves, and their successes in life, because they think that that's what you have to do to get a woman to find you attractive, and to be a to be like, find you admirable. That's not the case, man. Say less than necessary when you're with your friends. This is, you can see, you can tell what people are dealing with internally by letting them talk. If it's always about you, if you can't tell the sucker in the room, a common poker theme, then you're the sucker, all right? So don't be the sucker. Don't be the guy talking about himself the entire time. Let other people talk about themselves. You'll figure out what they're insecure about. You'll figure out what's bothering them. You'll figure, figure out what you can help them with. Now, I'm not saying to use this to be a deceitful snake. I'm just saying that if you're always talking about yourself, you're not going to learn. You're not going to learn how to be a good friend. You're not going to learn how to connect. Ask people about themselves. Say less than necessary. The Oracle in the Matrix is Sphinx-like. She's... She's an oracle, and oracles are, appear wise. And she hardly says anything to Neo. She, her, she's vague in her responses. She gives him clues to the future that's going to happen. He, he doesn't understand what does this mean. It's amazing. In business, in sales, if you want to sell someone something, you don't have to hard sell. You don't have to try to talk so much about your product no you have to ask the person what is it that they are going through in life right now what is it that they're unhappy with that they would like to change and then they'll talk and they begin to associate with their suffering maybe this is the case that there's mold in their basement and you're into real estate and you listen, there's mold in my basement, it's making my kids sick. I can't, I'm having breathing problems. You got to figure out what they want to get away from, and that you have the product 
that they can use to get into a better situation that they are in now. It's that simple. Many, many guys want to just continue to talk. Maybe it's their car and they're sick of trying. They've got to put new tires on it all the time. Their car's breaking down. they got to fix the brakes all the time. They're just, it's a sunk cost. They're spending way too much money. Listen, maybe there's not enough room for their family. Listen, they'll tell it to you. It'll all come out. It'll all come out and then you have a solution. Boom, here's the solution, a bigger car. Oh, this one comes with free tires for four years and brakes and oil changes. See, selling I've learned is done by shutting your damn mouth and letting the customer talk. That's very important. And uh, even with family, guys, you know, your family's bickering and arguing. Don't get on that level, man. Listen, listen.